Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people across the whole world, guess what is up? Stalk it up there! I'm going to play Legacy of the Void campaign. Now, many of you know that I have played uh, a little bit of StarCraft in my life. <laughs> Particularly the multiplayer campaign has been one of my favorite things. But uh, I actually love the single player of this game. Like, I loved Wings of Liberty. Uh, I, I think a lot of people were a little more lukewarm on Heart of the Swarm. I loved Heart of the Swarm. I'd like to I'd like to give a shout out to my 98%, my 98% on the Wings of Liberty campaign achievements. Like I played the shit out of this single player. Now, interesting story. Um, <clears throat> when StarCraft II was released, I did a launch party for this. Um, it still should be up somewhere. The I think it's on YouTube. Should be. It was on Blip. Might have gotten ported to YouTube at some point, but. Um, the, the important piece is that that launch party nearly killed me. I was this close to becoming dead, right? Oh, it was so hard. And after, I just locked myself in my room and did nothing but play Wings of Liberty single player. And that's why I hit this 98%. I streamed a lot of the Heart of the Swarm stuff. Um, but there's, there's a sort of, there's a sort of magical experience when a game can grab you alone. Um, I sort of have this personal struggle where the day off is both a day for me to step away from like work and obligation and play a game, but in particular, the day off is me making myself play a damn game. It's forcing myself to play it. Like Antichamber, loved Antichamber, one of my favorite games of all time. I might have never done it because I had to make myself do it. Because, you know, I'm like, I'm like an adult and shit. And, you know, if I'm sitting playing a game for like 12 hours straight, sometimes I go like, uh-oh, but what about my adultly responsibilities? But there's a few games that have just completely and totally sucked me into them uncontrollably, and the StarCraft II single player campaign is one of those. So good. So now I'm about to do this. My headphones don't work. So I'm going to click on this. I have my headphones unplugged. I might plug them in later, but I don't want to miss any of the audio. Whispers of Oblivion. Story so far, dude. Let's fucking go. For nearly 300 years, oh. humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Say it like it is, narrator. Seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. And All continued while, in South Korea for 15 years. Raged. Marshal Jim Rayner vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minx for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Sarah Kerrigan. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Audio is weirdly low, and I don't know why. So, I'll fix it after. Now, Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. Who is also narrating this video? They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective: the Protoss homeworld of Ayer. The Protoss were unaware of this danger, and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Hell yeah. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Zeratul's such Together, a badass. Together they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayer's true location. Doesn't that and suck? the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and oh, the this cutscene! Oh my god! To kill the overmind. 
Ire was lost. Oh my but god, our yes. Led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. All prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the swarm fractured. Oh, Kerrigan yes. sought control of all the Zerg. And totally Even kicked a shitload of ass and heels. Enemies like Raynor, Nace, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged. But to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of dark forces. This is great. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid, and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ire. Carla Dune. Raynor had vowed to see Kerrigan dead. And drank his heavily. His retaliatory strike failed. Even his rebellion against Manx's tyranny proved ineffective against the Dominion's propaganda machine. But with the arrival of old friends and mysterious new allies, Raynor revived his campaign against the Dominion, scoring major victories on multiple fronts. But Zeratul warned him about the encroaching darkness and said the key to stopping Amon was the Queen of Blades. She was needed alive. In a daring raid on the Zerg homeworld of Char, armies from the Dominion and Raynor, with help from Arcturus's son Valerian, used an ancient mm -hmm. Zalanga artifact to neutralize Kerrigan's power and free her from Amon's grasp. The Queen of Blades was helpless. And still totally off. She wore heels. Raynor <laughs> couldn't allow it. It's okay. I got you. I am not that persistent, to be clear. But his father could not <laughs> let this opportunity pass. Of course. During the raid, Kerrigan and Raynor were separated. Kerrigan escaped, while Raynor... He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Kerrigan sought vengeance. She set out to reclaim her position as Queen of Blades. With Zeratul's guidance, Kerrigan gathered the Zerg broods and ruled the swarm once again. Only this time. Sarah Free. Sarah Free. will never stop until Minx is dead. Arcturus Minx, one of the greatest names in all of fiction. One mission at a time. To her surprise, she learned that Raynor was still alive. <laughs> My be, she said. My be. She charted a course to Korhal, <laughs> Minx's stronghold. <clears throat> Despite encountering his best troops and traps, she personally ended his life. But there was little time to celebrate. Amon's or little time to celebrate. <laughs> Kerrigan left Raynor to rebuild while she hunted her true enemy. Raynor and Valerian Minx set about reforming the Dominion with a just government. With the Zerg and Terrans quelled, Hierarch Artanis saw an opportunity. He declared that the unified Protoss, Templar and Dark Templar alike, would retain Ire. Any dissenting voices went unheard amid the hope for reclamation. Zeratul set off alone, searching for the truth, hoping against hope that the Hierarch was not making a terrible mistake. <sighs> Star Corrupter. Oh man. So let me let me briefly check my audio because my audio just has been oh shit I'm in the wrong fucking settings really wait hold on hold on ladies and gentlemen I'd like to introduce you to my settings yeah why is it and this should be and this is fine okay yeah all right hopefully the audio is okay but uh it's all good in the hood. I'm just going to double check here. So so traditionally when I do this, th this is the settings that I go for. 16. 
and 26. The highest I've ever gone is 22. So we're going to go 22. We're going to accept. We're going to return a game. We're going to new campaign. So, um, I think I think I would go so far as to say I'm an expert at StarCraft, but I kind of think in my thoughts that we should do hard. Just plow through hard is what I'm thinking. Maybe we're not. Maybe not. Maybe we just need to do brutal every single time. Wow, that was an easy choice. I'm really glad we deliberated that for a moment. Whispers of Oblivion. It is an era of great uncertainty. The dark god, Amon, has been reborn on an unknown world, heralding doom for all life in the Caprulu sector. Before returning to his people to face their judgment, Zeratul scours the galaxy to find the way, find a way to stop the coming darkness. In this late hour, he seeks the last fragments of an ancient prophecy that could provide a ray of hope. I hope you recall that when I was playing the Heart of the Swarm campaign, I was doing the missions, the achievement things, where you had to do something insane on hard mode. I did those on brutal mode. <laughs> That's right. Brutal all day, all the way. Now, you're going to hear the heater turn on a lot. You're going to hear the cats burning the apartment down. So I just want to let you know, right now, don't worry about it. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me throw out there. This is, this is a little comment about storytelling. This is a comment about storytelling. Now, um, it is really dangerous in storytelling to introduce the grand evil late. Very dangerous. Because it's very hard to feel an investment and a story arc and a growth there. Um, I mean, even something like Sauron. Um, like, it's just constantly just looking at shit. And you see the eye. Uh, like, <laughs> and the influence of him and the impact and all the stuff that's going on. A really good example of this. Um, shit, I'm going to try to think of a property I can't spoil. I have examples that are to Okay, I'm going to spoil Fallout 1. All right, cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Fallout 1 spoiler. So in Fallout 1, the master is introduced as the prime evil at the very, 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 very end of the story. And so as a result, I don't really give a shit, right? I don't care as much about the master because I've been spending all this time getting invested in the world and what's going on and the people there. But the people I'm invested in here are people like Dark Menz, Jim Rayner, Kerrigan, and Zeratul. Especially fucking Zeratul, isn't he a dope ass badass? Um, did I say cover your eyes? Whatever, I don't give a shit. Cover, cover your nose. Cover your nose! I don't want you to smell the spoiler coming. Yeah, so with, with Amon, Amon, I don't even know who he is. But we've had a lot of stuff about Amon. I'm very interested to see how this campaign, specifically the final closing one, deals with that. Uh, I think Amon's super dope. I hope his introduction is super dope. Press any key to continue. Oh. As it was foretold, Amon, the Dark God, lives again. If any hope remains for our galaxy, as that Battlestar Galactica zoom in, only one piece of the prophecy remains unfulfilled that on the world where Amon was reborn, the last light will be. One being who knew that location. Samir Duran. Known as Samir Duran. I would play the shit out of Meteor Dodge again. As the it's Duran backwards, isn't that cool? <laughs> Echo, right? I hope there's no echo because I'm on a headset in today. Templar from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to a Terran facility, but we are under attack by the swarm. Swarm, I'm on my way, Talus. May a doom hide you until I arrive. Beautiful. No echo. There, there's, there's no, no, echo, echo. Our brethren are Woo! being held prisoner across the complex. We must free them before the swarm overwhelms the facility. Zeratul, I thought I sensed your presence. 
Let's not mince words. Why are you here? This place holds information I seek, and my captured brethren. I intend to free them both from the terrors. PVT, easy matchup. This facility is a breeding ground for Amon's hybrid army. My swarm will embrace it from existence. But I know that won't stop you. So let me make this clear. Stay out of our way, Zeratul. Zeratul. Do not fear. We will not abandon this fight, Talos. If we are swift and clever, we can avoid the swarm. Very well. I have made our nexus point ready for your arrival. Oh yes. Okay, let's just let's just, you know, build the probes up right away. Okay, let's the see. The captive here. Templar are kept just ahead. Ready your blades, warriors. All right, so what do we have to do? Free captive, first captive Protoss. Okay. Let's see what we have here. This is Void Seeker. What else is around here? Again, we'll send the swarm to destroy the station's reactor. We must free our brothers before that happens. Dark Prelate, we will need to cross the swarm's attack route to reach the captives. Move forward only when it is clear. Hmm. Avoid the Zerg's forces at all costs. Hmm. All right, first things first, upgrades and expansions. The way we win these is by powering, for sure. I am the void. I am the hollow. All right, the, my scroll speed is a little fast. Gameplay. Ah. So, there's like, I'm gonna play a serious game sort of settings, and then there's like, I want it to be aesthetically beautiful sort of settings. So for that reason, why don't these look? Like? Oh, whoops! Oops, we did it. Shift F two, idle pro, go home. Oh God! You know, the hardest part about this is I keep using Atlas hotkeys. <laughs> Minions, push forward. Slay these hybrid thralls to the last. Where is an expansion? See, look, we're unselected. We don't want to have all these, like, you know, spreadsheets of data in the way. Do I not get? Okay, yeah, I don't get work yet. So I still haven't actually built anything. I'm just, like, trying to find an expansion. Alright, I guess I'll just build some gateways. Dude, it is crazy having no latency. You just click and the unit goes, man. Oh my god, that feels so good. I can't wait for the speed of light to be upgraded down the road. Station reactor must survive. Alright, dope. I gotta say, just building stuff. Oh, what a joy. What a joy it is to just build shit, man. Are these two different types of creep? Warriors, you are nearing the Zerg's hive cluster. Exercise <laughs> caution. No, dude, I'm not gonna do that. You must eliminate the Protoss base. Glory to our master. Boy, I hope he doesn't have detection. I think I need a micro? Whoops. Uh, uh. I always learn to build those sentries first. They will surely attack soon. Can I get level two? No, it's only level one. Damn, it's one of these missions. Okay. I think I think we're on Gateway Town. The central reactor. Oh, I trapped him. Shit. I need I need I need to study my maps more, my single player maps more. Maybe I should just be forgating this entire time. God, I gotta remember tilt. Okay, so. In Atlas, Tilled selects all army. So I keep hitting Tilled. <laughs> Which means I'm a newbie, right? Not Tilled. What does Tilled do in this game? I think it's paying minimap. Oh, tight. Alright, let's go. Let's go, dude. 
four gate, best gate. See, I'm gonna be a real pro, and I'm gonna like chrono boost. Ugh. Dude, this one sentry really wants to kill that stalker. Just gonna go, 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 dude. See, look. Now he can't retreat. <laughs> go. Don't micro. Why does this one sentry keep attacking this one stalker? Like, it's inexplicable to me. Dude, I'm actually getting my ass kicked, man. Let me. What? They recharge shields? Fucking yeah. I haven't even figured this out yet, man. This is great. Alright. Thalker Sentry all day. All the way. You know what's really good with Thalker Sentry is 1-1-1 one, one, one shields. I'm so pro. Look, I got my base defended. I'm at 22-24. Sentry heal. Do that like... I was individually like clicking these sentries so hard. Like, there's no way these guys... I gotta get more nerds, dude. Look at that! Look at this shit! This is insane! Healing! Oh my god, now that I actually know how this works... I was spamming stop and like clicking away so hard. <laughs> These Terran's minds have been consumed. They are slaves to the hybrid. Are they now? Is that, is that a justification? Let's go. For my question. Alright. Tilled does not do anything. I think I lost my probe as well. I think I lost the team as well. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. We really gotta untrain this tilled button in us. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Micro. Quickly, mine gas. Can I get a mothership core? Can I nexus cannon this? Alright. We, we're, we're gonna restart this. We're gonna restart this. We're gonna restart this. We're gonna figure it out again. F10. How do we end game? Oh, it's D, is it? We're just gonna restart it. Check achievements when you restart. Just remap the hotkey. Or you could just rebind it. Do is it select all army? Here we go. Where is select all army? AI camera hero menu observer replay unit management. Where is select all army? It should be F2 in here. Oh, I actually just disabled it completely. Look at this. Look at me. Look at me now. Let's end game. Let's go ahead and restart this mission. Here we go. Restarting this mission. Easy. Coffee has been consumed. It's pretty sick, huh? Alright. No, I got this now, dude. The captive Templar are kept just ahead. Ready your blades, warriors. Oh, God, look at that. God, that's nice. Oh, the amount of times that I hit that button. I am the heart of darkness. You are mine. Carrigan will send the swarm to destroy the station's reactor. We must free our brothers before that happens. Control 4, control 5. We will need to cross the swarm's attack route to reach the Dude, I just love controlling the army again. Get Zerg to clear terrain, Kai with a zealot. Avoid the Zerg's forces at all. No, can't do that. Gotta be real pro. Actually, what are the oops, no, not escape, F10. What are the achievements here that we can do? Complete destroy 30 Zerg units during the Dark Whispers missions. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna worry about these. We're gonna do some achievement hunting later. As a sick nerd achievement hunter, this is definitely bound to happen. Let's just micro some stalkers. We are one with 
God, I gotta say, zero latency is the best feeling. They need to invent faster light, for sure. Might die. Or it might be Liquid Hero. One of those two. Ugh. They just have six range. Why just have five? Die. Ugh. Okay, so I have to defend against a crap load of Terran attacks constantly. So let's just build up for a little bit, man. Build some of these guys. This is the very first one. Stalkers have blink? You're kidding me! Oh my god. And the Zealots have charge. Jesus. Alright, well I guess I'm just gonna go uh, mass Zealot then. Can't believe they have... Maybe some cannons. Come on. Warriors, you are nearing the Zerg's hive cluster. Exercise caution. <laughs> Tried to blink out of the way. <laughs> uh, wasn't able to pull it off in time. Eliminate the Protoss base. Glory to our master. Look at this shit. Holy shit, raids go a crap load of damage. The Zerg are gathering. They will surely attack soon. Eliminate the central reactor. You require more Vespine gas. Dude, I'm just, you know what? I learned this little trick. I'm gonna say trick on the multiplayer campaign. If you just build four gateways and that's just what you build, you do it. Oh, aberrations is so sick. We require more Vespine pylons. I think it's gonna chill. Oh, look at this. Look at this man, humans are trying to eliminate us. We're trying to eliminate the Cubans. How many of you have already beaten the Legacy of the Void campaign? Most of my friends have. My banner's on the resources. Wow, look at that. You know, we don't we don't even need this. We don't even need this here, man. Where is this? Oh, I can't even get to it. Ugh. All the habits dying hard. God, having that all army button is just so is just so good. Alright guys, one 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 time. A little proba. Won't be getting lazy voice suddenly played hostile for like two hours total, man. You gotta get into that. Dude, I'm just gonna go Marine Medic. Ape Fist has cleared hard mode, not Ghostu enough for Brutal. We're gonna see if I'm Ghostu, because I'm feeling Ghostu times too, for sure. See, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep massing until the next Terran attack. I got the pylon. You know, let's just try to just out these two nerds. Now, you know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the funds? I'm going to make cannons. Oh, Ooh. what other sweet abilities do these have? Ah, oh, shit, recharge is just dope. It's just dope as hell. Oh, 
the workers 25 24 oh. God, I really don't know if I should warp in this round, but I feel compelled to. Oh shit. Team, fall back. Oh, 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 I thought it meant that there was an attack coming. I was like, oh no. Alright, Noble Proble. These heaven's minds have been consumed. They are slaves to the hybrid. Adipa, Adipa. Yeah, he is some some hell of a reaper, man. So you need to be at control too. Let me let that build up. See daisies. Oh, money, money, money. I think they're actually just always going to come from this angle, so I'm just going to keep building there. Oh shit, I didn't even see the Seeker missile until like the last second. I heard the noise and I was like, where is that? Let me get him. Oh Tear apart their reactor. The Queen Blade demands it. Ugh. Pretty sick, right? Did I beat the video game? I think I beat the video game. We believed the end was at hand. What do you know of this facility, Zealot? The Terrans tortured us, experimented upon oh, our yeah, flesh. Terrans. Most did not survive. Oh. I have seen foul work of this nature before. Narud again, that's Duran backwards, Ooh, for any of you curious. You here. Alas, I know not. Petar, we wish to join you, to avenge our brothers in arms. Then ready yourselves, Templar. Humans. Tap, tap, we control on. Warriors, there is another cell ahead. Go forth. And claim the vengeance you seek. You require more Vespine gas. Let me in. Let me in. You require more Vespine gas. I'm a scientist. The Terrans are warping in. Impossible. They are experimenting with pylon technology. We should eliminate these Terrans and reclaim the pylon for ourselves. We did it! Oh my god, game in the single player all day. That's how we do it. Reclaiming the pylon now. It is hard to believe such primitive beasts could manipulate our technology. Another wave of Zur gathers. Avoid them if you can. The swarm is upon you, Mobius Core. We are a tide of death that does not break. Blink. Why blink when you can back though, you know what I'm saying? They're really nice guns. Oh yeah, I forgot. Try to just blink on in, didn't work. Go, dude. Alright, so I see the path. God, select all army on tilt is great. Innovation commencing. This is great. We're gonna need a few rounds of nerds here. 
Well, as far as it's, yes, my new chair arrives. I can now watch day night TV in comfort. I'm thrilled to hear that. Are there more minerals here? I have not found a boost like all game long. The swarm will begin another assault soon. Thanks, pinging mini map man. Pinging mini map man. Those inside with Amon's hybrid deserve no mercy. Devour them whole. Oh my god, he's fired a second. Can I kill the scientist? That's the goal right there. Hey, build cannons. I'll rip my probe. So cool. I've always wanted maps with like extending and retracting bridges. What am I doing, man? We got five gate this shit. You can't macro well enough in a single player campaign, you know what I mean? <gasps> Expansion! -er! Quickly! Gonna boost. Protoss really needed medics, I gotta say. Alright, let's do this. Let's take him out one at a time. Expansion so much. <laughs> uh, Your time is running short, zero two. Few things feel more rewarding than glitching an AI. Already. 
six Alright, where do we go? This way. So fun to build shit. Devastation. Oh shit. Oh, mouse, come on. Oh shit, there's two more of these things. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's where he's shooting? Well, that's not good. I think we're losing this. <laughs> the Zerg are on the attack. Avoid them, brothers. Avoid them, brothers. Destroy um, containment units. Oh, this is a bonus objective? No. Target the central reactor. Go. Destroy. I'm starting to realize that I was just building shit this game. I was not being a good little Protoss. No, sir. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. I think I see how to win, though. I actually think probably the most effective way to win is not to push aggressively. It's just to like wait and build up and then slam out real fast. Ugh. 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 <laughs> yeah, Zeratul chilling in his ship letting everyone else do the fighting. That's classic Zeratul. He's like, from the shadows I recline. Zeratul. You got it. I guess you got a Protoss Death Ball, man. That's how it's done. On this magic Death Ball ride, a whole new ball. A magic target firing me. Ooh. Killer. Harrigan is readying another assault. Be careful. Destroy the reactor now. Shit. All right, I didn't plan this well, but now, now I know. Now I know. I know how the new mission works. New missions and old. I get it. Target fire, for God's sake, target fire. Yeah, I think I think we're probably we're probably dead. We're more than likely dead. Look how many all these pylons I built. See the fact that this bridge connects means I could have been warping in here for defense. As I loop de dooped around. You can tech up to Colossus in this. Wait, what? I don't know why I didn't assume this. Wait, I can just Amazing. Let me explain. Let me explain the thought process. Let me explain. Let me explain because I feel like I have some explaining to do. So when I looked at the upgrades, I discovered that you can only get one, one, one. So in my head, it just went, you can only build gateway units, right? That's exactly what I thought. I knew, I knew that you could not get to any tech beyond gateway. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I click on this probe here, and look, it has advanced building. I can actually build Dark Templar. I mean, I guess that makes sense. This is the Whispers of Oblivion mission. There's someone watching being like, is this how you play this game all the God, I 
I thought I was actually an expert at StarCraft. Well, let's just win with gateway units then. I think some of you know that I played Zerg and Brew Wars, so like, the way that I always want to win is the Swarm. I always want to overwhelm. That's why, as Protoss, I like Zealots more. Oh shit. GG. Uh, GG. So, can I build? So, like, Zealots, Archons, those units are cool. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> Alright, so let's finish this fucker up and let's figure out how to beat the mission, man. These prologue missions, the very first mission is hard. God, well maybe we should just build the Dark Shrine, I don't know, maybe that's the key right there. Can I build a Colossus then? Let's find out. So it's done. Get out the fuck out! Really, 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 really. I just did not know that. That I did not know. Wow. Did you? Okay. Okay. We're, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna just emotionally nurture myself for about a few minutes because uh, I think it's important for me. I think it's important to note that the reason Protoss is a dying race is me. They're, I'm the reason they don't have a home world, and I feel guilty about that. I need to just make sure I take care of myself and I nurture myself and I'm sweet to myself for just a few minutes we can get some water and then we're gonna go kick some ass you know what I mean you know what I mean wow that was, that was remarkable right there we're on a break man